I'm Steve Grubb from uh, Facebook, and Facebook is, of course, a social networking company with the goal of connecting everyone in the world. Um, we're certainly already connect 1.7 billion uh, users, uh, over 1 billion daily, and are looking to increase that in the future and connect the planet via submarine cables. The big moments of 2016 are the announcements of several new systems across both the Atlantic and the uh, Pacific. In the Atlantic, we've announced one called Maria in partnership with Microsoft and Telefonica that carry, will carry 160 terabits of capacity. And just last week, we announced an excite, participation in an exciting new project from the U.S. to Hong Kong. So it's the first direct cable from the U.S. to Hong Kong that will carry 120 terabits per second. So it brings new connectivity to Asia. So we're calling it the terabit tsunami. So the future of the submarine network industry, we believe, of course, that it will keep growing in capacity. But um, one of the things we believe in is in the open model of submarine networks. So that more parties can participate, not just the traditional players, but submarine cables are more open to a variety of players and can connect easier. Um, the future um, will also involve greater diversity. We're going to places, traditional submarine cables have just gone along the traditional routes, many, many cables. But because of redundancy in serving areas, we're starting to explore diverse routes, such as this is, a, as I mentioned the first time, there's a major Pacific cable in the Southern Pacific connecting the U.S. and Hong Kong. So we see more capacity, more non-traditional players being involved, and uh, route diversity. For Facebook, um, the future drivers are um, certainly one thing is more users. Um, as I mentioned, we already have 1.7 billion users. But there remain almost a billion people who are unconnected on the, on the planet and the people who are not connected. So our goal is to connect everyone. Uh, we're also um, providing new services. So we're going from things like you know, simple texts and photos, which use a relatively small amount of bandwidth, although people upload 30 billion photos a day, 60 billion messages a day. We, we save them all. Um, so we see that increasing. But recently we launched uh, Facebook Live, so live video. Anybody can start a live Facebook transmission at any time. So that eats up a lot more bandwidth. And beyond that, we actually see virtual reality and augmented reality taking off. And that will use perhaps even 20 times more bandwidth than live regular video. So we see the bandwidth uh, demands increasing literally exponentially. Five years down the road, back in Singapore <laughs> and uh, other nice places. Um, I see, you know, hopefully I've continued to build cables at the same rate to populate and connect more places. So I think we'll see a continuation of what we're seeing now and the growth of new cables.